Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a fun luxury this and that video. I have the new Chanel Le Beige eyeshadow palette, one of them. I have some Gucci lip products and I'm trying out the Wayne Goss Contour Bronzer Duo, okay? So if you wanna see how this face came together and what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump into this luxury this and that video, I quickly have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I'm wearing our khaki boho head wrap. I love this color. I've worn it in many videos. As you can see, there's a nice, beautiful chic sheen on top, stretchy piece of long fabric fashion into any style you want. Perfect for days that you don't have time to do your hair or you just don't want to, or you just want a stylish accessory to zhuzh up whatever it is you're wearing. You can wear them to work out, I do it. Um, I wear these when I'm doing my dance classes. I wear them out as a more of a fashion accessory, so they're multi-purpose. You can do lots of things with them. They come in lots of colors. And if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. The links will be in the description below. Okay guys, so today's This or That luxury video is featuring the Chanel Le Beige in Intense. They came out with two, this is the packaging for uh, Le Beige, if you're not familiar, it is a beige, the packaging is beige. And then I went with Intense, which is the khaki, beigey, you know, camouflage colors that I love. So I'm excited to try this on. Just at the last second, second I switched to this um, color palette because I like these colors and it looked like a light wash of color, not too much, but something on the eyes. So I wanna see what I can pull together with this. Um, we have Wayne Goss. Wayne Goss is a brand that I have the products, I just haven't been able to kind of work them into videos. So I'm gonna try out the bronzer today and I'm going to use a blush that I really, really like from him. Something else I wanted to mention that I'm wearing, it's I've had this for forever. I just never, again, never had a, a moment to kind of bring it to the channel. The Le Beige uh, Chanel Water Fresh Tint that I absolutely love. This is in light deep, okay? I don't know if you're familiar with this, perfect product for this time of year. It is not a foundation, it is a tint, it will not hide all your you know imperfections and I'm okay with that I just like light stuff on my face when it's warm outside and this does the trick it is water-based and what's cool about it I'll show you if you're not familiar there are pearls here the the color is in the pearls so as you begin to massage it the pearls kind of burst and the color shows up on your skin okay so it's a really interesting product, but really, really, really incredibly lightweight. And so if you just want a little something on your skin, if your imperfections, you know, shine through, I don't care. But if that's a thing that you are worried about, then this may not be the product for you. But if you're okay with that and you want something really light, and just a little bit of color, they do come in different colors. I love this product a lot, okay? So let's start with the eyes and then we'll talk about the other products. FYI, that is my new wall color, Trauma Drama, trying to get this, get a color that I like, but that's a whole other story. Listen, trying out different makeup products, it is hard to be um, surprised sometimes, but I'm, I've already been pleasantly surprised. The colors as they show up in the pan and what shows up on my hands are just two different things. These are so pigmented, so much more pigmented than I thought they would be. And the colors are interesting, bronzy colors, very, very pretty, pretty colors. And that's not a black, that's like a dark khaki. But yeah, how they show up in here, they swatch much more vibrantly, so I'm excited about that. And now I wanna see what happens on the eyes.
Okay, please know because the light bounces really strangely sometimes that they <laughs> they are even. It just looks like sometimes that there's more attention on this eye than this one. They are even. And I really, really like this color palette with my skin tones. I does, it plays well to my undertones, to my skin tones. It's picking up, I have yellow undertones. It's like playing to that. And so these bronzy colors just look really, really good. I was able to smoke it out with the two green colors. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty. Are they reinventing the wheel with these colors? No, it has a nice shimmer to it. So, I mean, they're not, and they're only, I mean, there's only so big the pool of colors are, is ever going to be, but it's pretty, and I like how it blended out, and I like how all the um, like metal, metallic colors, they're not metallic shadows, the colors from metals. Um, kind of blend into each other and they all shine on their own and then the green comes in. So I just happen to be a fan of this color story for my skin tone and so I like it. I like it, it's a nice palette. It's a nice palette. Okay, so I just zhuzhed up my eyes with an eyeliner, which leads us perfectly into the first Gucci product, one of their new Cole Eyeliner Stylo Contour uh, Cole Eyeliners. And this one is in 03, okay? A dark brown. Let me tell you something, I am not great at lining my eyes, which is why I typically don't do it. So I need products that are super easy to go on. This is really creamy really really easy to apply and to then blend out so i'm absolutely going to get um another color of this one just because it's really easy for me to apply and uh it is creamier it's, it's easier for me to apply than the pencils um so yeah definitely definitely love this one zero three line the eyes up top and below and just smudged it out and it just complemented this look and then i went on and put some gucci mascara on it complemented the eye look it complements the eye look perfectly so now let's get into this wayne goss bronzer okay so let's get into this wayne goss uh contour the radiance boosting face palette uh there's a contour and then there's a bronze. So you get a bit of product, a, a pretty big palette. Um, and these are the two shades, okay? So this one is Deep Copper, the deepest of the three shades that he came out with. This is the more taupe color and this is the more bronzy color, okay? So the, the taupe color, the right name is Deep Taupe. Deep Taupe, okay? And then this is the copper glow, which we'll use for bronzer first with contour. I'm gonna talk as I get this contour um, on my face because um, I don't like the fact that this is called uh, a deep. When the pictures first showed up, I was very skeptical of the um, the naming of the products and the models that they use to show off the shades. Because listen, when we hear the word deep, it's not a secret what we think of. There's a complexion that comes to mind when we think of deep. I am a medium complexion, tan, depending on the wording, tan or medium. I am by no means a deep complected person. So the, the, we know what that means when we hear the word deep, right? So I don't like the idea of marketing something as deep. Potentially, I can't say the reasons behind it, but it feels almost like political correctness to, to add a deep shade, but it means nothing if it does not show up 
on deep skin. It means absolutely nothing. I'm not impressed with naming it something that it won't, that won't apply to the people who consider themselves deep and who the rest of us consider deep. In no world am I deep complected, okay? And yes, I could have worn the medium shade, but even the model on Beautylish was like my complexion for the deep shade. So, um, I don't watch videos. I don't know what um, any deep complected person said, but all I can do is show you from my experience. These are the two colors in the deep palette. You're watching it warm up my skin and it's not this huge departure from my skin tone. So I didn't like that. If you're gonna come out, I, I mean, it, I was more upset about the naming it deep than I was the lack of a deep color because it's deceptive. So I hope that that's something that the brand considers in the future. Just be honest about the shades that you're releasing, okay? Name them appropriately. Uh, and that's, that's th we need to, to name them appropriately because I just, I don't know many deep people, truly dark skinned people who this is going to show up on. And if one shows up, it's highly unlikely that both are going to show up. Now, all that said, the formula is uh, beautiful. One of the things I hope they do too is when they release these videos with, um, I understand the pandemic and so he's been getting the help of other people who do videos to do his, you know, do his his videos when he introduces these products to us. The names of the shades need to be up there. It's only helpful, We, you know, guessing what somebody's wearing is not particularly helpful. So the names of the shades as they're putting them on should be put in the video. I think that would be very helpful, but I understand how that might've been problematic for Deep uh, because there was no real Deep complected person representing this shade. Okay, so that's where we are with that. But I do want to say that the formula is beautiful. I, I really do love the formula. It's nice. It's creamy. It's it's a, it's just a really nice formula bronze. It blends out beautifully. I want to say what Wayne Goss does correctly, which I really really love, is he embraces all the different um, ages of his customer. He he doesn't you know he knows beauty doesn't stop at 30 and 35 so he embraces older women in his marketing and that i absolutely can appreciate so beautiful beautiful formula seamless it blends out really really nicely let's try this bronzer as you can see the bronzer has a more orangey hue to it so i'm sort of just going above the cheek where i put the the contour and a little bit goes a long way this is a huge palette so it will last and it's a shame i hope that and i understand listen listen you're creating your own business funds are limited i want to say that i completely understand that you're not going to be able to come out with a thousand of anything when you're funding things yourself i can completely completely appreciate that so I hope that they do a darker one in the future so that more people can experience it because the, um, because the color, the colors are really nice. Well, this one is very complimentary and the formula is beautiful. Now, I don't know what that one's gonna be called real. It's gonna be called really deep. For real, re for real deep this time. I don't know. But I do hope that they come out with other shades so that deeper skins can truly experience it um the way other skin tones do really beautiful formula the more i sit with it the more i'm really enjoying it um and i just want to put on i just wanted to show you this one is the weightless veil blush palette in coral uh rose which is a really his his um his blushes also the same kind of formula really really easy to um blend just really nice cream like powder formula that i really really enjoy and this is a very light color but it shows up and i just like it i really really like these palettes again they're huge so you'll have them for a while and you have a lot of product So 
just a note about the highlighter and the blush uh, duo. They are potent, so go in very, very light and then blend it out. And they, they do work seamlessly together, which is one of the ideas to just blend the, br the blush color and the highlighter together. So I think it's very complimentary as well. Doesn't um, draw any attention to fine lines. Really beautiful formula. So I'm actually a fan of his uh, the two blushes that I do have of his. So now let's move on to Gucci and the lips. Okay, so let's end with some Gucci products. I've talked about Gucci before. Gucci is one of um, my favorite brands right now because they're unexpected, okay? Alessandro Michele, the um, creative director pretty much of Gucci Beauty, of, of the fashion side of Gucci, he's doing such new and exciting things with Gucci that my eyes are on that, and I'm really happy with the things that they're coming out with. So they came out with these two crayon color, contour colors, uh, lip crayons, and they are meant to be, you can wear them as liners or wear them all over your lips. Okay, so I got two colors. One, the orange one is 03. Miel, okay, honey. And this one, 02, is tender. So this is tender, this is Miel, an orange color. So super pigmented, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on my lips as if I'm gonna wear them as a, um, as a uh, lipstick, okay? Because then you can go on and put gloss on top, so there's different things that you can do. Let's get into these. Okay, so here is Tendra as a uh, lipstick, okay, or lip stain. It's actually not uncomfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel drying. You get a nice bit of a stain of color. So I'm gonna try on the Miel, the orange one now, and then I'm going to put a gloss on top of it, a clear little shine, so you can see what's possible with these. So they will work, again, as just a lip liner, or just dab it on your lips for a little bit of color. This would be the matte way, and then we'll see it with a little gloss on top. Okay, so here is Miel on its own, now with a little gloss. They also have really interesting um, colors of the, the lip pencils. Some are unusual colors for lip liners, but for me, will work beautifully as like a lip stain this one with a little gloss, so you just make your own little lipstick up, which I love this color orange with a gloss, okay? So this one is Miel, and the other one is Tendra. So I'm just, Gucci's just throwing stuff out there, and they're good products, um, they perform well, and I'm just really, really enjoying the brand. Let's try the two lip products now, the two lipsticks. Okay, so next up is the Rouge de Butte Brillant, Gucci's newest um, lip products. We have the gold at the bottom, which runs through all their products. We have that gold. And then we have this very, um, like a classic print. Alessandro Michele, his aesthetic, he's very much into like classic beauty things and uh, prints and looks. It, it, it reflects, it, it, that is reflected in their models and their styling and the packaging for their beauty products. So we have this print that is a, a more classic, an older print. So a very chic looking product. Okay, they say it is a shimmering lip color with a wet glow finish. Now I've worn these absolutely, okay? So skinny, really skinny tube, a chic little, you know, number, and then it comes up like this. It does look wet when you uh, look at it, okay? So this one is Peggy Taupe, and then I got uh, Joy Wild Mauve. So the colors in here, this one looks a little more like this one. So this is Peggy Taupe down here, okay? And then we have uh, the mauve color, 
really dark. You're not looking at this seeing mauve, but it swatches like this up here. So you get a nice little surprise from the color in the tube to the hand, okay? So really, I love. I've worn, I wear, I love. So at first I'm gonna put on the taupe and then we'll end it with the mauve. Okay, so this is Peggy Taupe, very, very pretty. I could wear it with a lip liner. I can use it as a topper if I want to, but I actually really like this color a lot as it is. So if you like a little bit of shine, but you don't really love a gloss, maybe the formula of a gloss, this is very moisturizing. This feels really, really uh, nice on the lips. Not sticky at all, but it gives you a nice little bit of shine. Um, so yeah, I love this. Love the formula and love how it wears when you don't want a lot of shine. So this one is Peggy Taupe. Let's get to this mauve color. This is my color and the light is giving me, is making me annoyed because it just is, the light's all over the place. It's coming, it's going, so it's gonna affect the video, but it is what it is. This Joy Wild Mauve is just so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love wearing it. I love this color. I'm a plum girl, so I'm super happy about it uh, by itself. Nothing else needs to be done. Gucci coming through again. I would absolutely get another one of these because I do love the color payoff and I love the colors. They're interesting. So I recommend this one. This is a beautiful way to end this video. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Again, I'm loving these luxury this and that videos because I get to put products in that I can't really find a place for and I could just do a whole video full of them. So in terms of performance, I enjoyed everything that I tried today. Um, the eyeshadow palette, like I said, those colors just happen to uh, work really well with my skin tone. So I'm a fan of those and the light shimmer, little bit of interest there. So I'm happy with the eyeshadow palette. The Wayne Goss um, Bronzer Contour Duo, the formula is beautiful. It performed beautifully. The colors work beautifully on my skin tone, but calling it deep is where I had the problem. And then the Gucci lip products are just fun and they're beautiful and I just really enjoy them and I'm so excited to see uh, what Gucci does next. So if you got any of these products, let me know down below. What are you thinking about the Wayne Goss um, bronzer? Do the colors work for you? Have you? Do you have any of these Gucci lip products? Are you planning on getting Le Beige? Um, anything from the 2021 collection? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it when you do. And as always, if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, t-shirt, hair towel wraps, satin line, beanie, satin line, knit beanies, silk and linen hair accessories and more, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.